Hello everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on when you are watching this video. My name is Mrs. Tate. I've been teaching at Plant High School. This will be my 17th year. That's crazy. And I teach AP Chemistry and Chemistry Honors Advanced. If by chance we get to go back to school at some point during the school year, my classroom, room 11B, is located near the Dale Mabry side of school between the West Wing and the gym and locker rooms. And supplies, the typical supplies, binder, dividers, paper, pencils, and a calculator, as well as highlighters, uh, which can really help with note taking. Um, however, there will be a lot of digital things going on in the course. So during an e-learning phase, if you have the ability to write directly onto your device with a stylus or maybe even your finger, though that's not preferred, um, you would be able to complete all aspects of the course online. But it's important being able to write out calculations and not try to type them. That is very difficult to do and to do well, especially when you're learning different skills. Um, in that case, if you cannot write on your device, resorting to paper is fine. Write things out on paper and then use uh, an app on your phone to scan the paper as a PDF. Office Lens is a good device or an app for that because it integrates well with Office 365, which integrates well with Canvas. If you haven't checked out Canvas yet, Canvas is our new Edsby. So please go check that out. Let's take a look specifically at AP Chemistry. It is a college level two semester course. You can get up to two semesters worth of credit with a lab component. Labs will be interesting this year. I'm going to do what I can between uh, demos, videos, online simulations uh, that we'll get that in. Yes, it's an AP course. Expect extra work three to five hours a week, I would say, would be pretty typical. Um, the prerequisites are listed on the screen. Let me know if you have any questions or concerns about those. And in terms of my history with the course, I've been teaching it for seven years, my pass rate on the screen there. And I'm proud of the fact that I've improved my pass rate every single year, except for one. About my third year, I did drop a few per, per percentage points. So keys to success in AP Chemistry. Number one, motivation. If you are here for a college transcript or because your friends are here, that might not translate into success in the course. Time management. Hopefully we don't have a whole lot of extra stuff going on these days, uh, but that was always a concern. If you are committed to a lot of other groups and organizations outside of school, that that time management issue can start to um, impede your success in the course. And then for better or for worse, hopefully you were placed correctly in, into this course because there is a base level cognitive development. We usually look at PSAT scores. It's not the end all be all, but it is a good guideline for whether or not you have kind of the prerequisite um, skills and knowledge to be successful in the course. Uh, for chemistry honors, Yes, there's homework, but definitely not as much as AP. It can vary. Some days are more instructional based. Some days we get to work on things in class and then we finish at home. And then other times there are a few homework assignments. Uh, I, again, labs, I do try to get those done. So we'll have to see how that works this year. But this course, unlike AP Chemistry, has a very high potential for success. There are years where almost every single student is getting an A and usually where it's not, there are some students who are struggling with material and I try to help with that. But let's get to our keys to success. Paying attention in class. Some of the students that aren't doing well, they're just dozing off. They're not paying attention. They're not making the effort, right? Take the notes, do the work. Don't copy the work. It's not going to help you in the long run. So get the work done. Get help immediately. If you are watching or listening to a lecture and you're confused about something, ask a question right then. Write it down. Email it to me. Canvas message it to me. Don't wait. I can help you and I might have resources that can help you. And then the last thing, labs. Labs count um, similar to quiz grades. And so oftentimes students that really struggle in terms of their final grade, they usually have a zero to, for labs. So please don't take a zero for a lab. That's one way to help ensure that you're not pulling your grade down. Uh, last thing, if you're a Chem Honor student and you're thinking about AP Chemistry in the future, yay! Uh, make sure that you're putting in the work now to lay the foundation that you don't just get it done to get it done and you can plug the numbers in, but you're not really sure what's going on or why. If you're really trying to make that concerted effort to have a deeper understanding, that will benefit you so much more in AP Chemistry. So to wrap up, if you have any questions, I do have a personal website, it, URL on the screen there. Um, I like that one because I control it and I don't ever lock anybody out. Like Canvas has you locked out at different times during the year and Edsby did. Um, so that has my email on there. Um, as well as I 
we'll have to see how much I actually post on plant lectures this year, given the fact that we are now in a canvas world. Canvas can do a whole lot of stuff. But other than that, I am so excited for the year. This is going to be really interesting. I'm excited to try out some new things that maybe I wouldn't have gotten outside of the box in previous years and really fine tune and, fo and focus my instruction. So with that, hope you guys, uh, hope I get to see you soon. All right.